crash them and grammar twice spending cash money. Niggas got it at the butt. Man, it's Friday. I hope you guys are having or have had a good week. It's uh the end of the day if you're close to my time zone when you're probably watching this. Um man, Friday means shoulders, biceps, some good energy. Hit uh I already hit my abs I had written in for the day. If you guys follow the workout of the week on my training app, usually in those sections you'll see I put in the cardio, excuse me, in those workouts I put in the cardio uh, at the end of the weight training just before, golly, I put in the abs. I know I just said cardio. I put in the abs, which is usually two movements every other day before the cardio, immediately after the weight training so that you can kind of go from training to knocking out your abs to hitting cardio. Uh, so what I'll do a lot of times in the in the mornings because I'm training twice. I'm still doing that session. That's what I'm, you know, that's what I hit at the gym, but I'll do my faster cardio in the morning. And then I like to just kind of knock out the abs then because it's a shorter session. I can put more energy into it. And uh, then I don't got to do them later too. Just, sometimes it can be a bit of a drag when you're, you're ready to just get the cardio done, go home, whatever, eat a meal. Uh, so I'd rather I'd rather have to earn my breakfast, but as you can see, it's another beautiful spring day in Ohio. Gorgeous out. Uh, similar shoulder workout to last week's with uh, a few tweaks on how I'm doing the press. Last week I talked about instead of doing a, a freestanding, you know, military press, having some type of, uh, you know, doing some type of guided press. So today, if the Smith machine is open, that's what I'm going to jump on to hit after doing lateral raises and, uh, and just get the get the intensity going, man. It's Friday, the last uh, big push before the weekend. If it's not too late of a night, by the time I'm done with work, I might get a little cheat meal with my girlfriend. So it's a nice, like, you know, a little, not a finish line, but just like a little mental, like, station to stop at. You're like, okay, I got, I made it to the Friday, I made it to Saturday, whatever it is. You know, give yourself a little reward. I think that's important. That's why I uh, I do my cheat meals still to this day. Even when I'm cutting, I still like to throw one in once a week um, because it, it just it gives me something to look forward to. And, and it's funny too because I crave all this crazy stuff during the week when I know I can't you know give myself any sweets or anything. And then I make it to like Saturday and I'm like, man, I don't really want anything. I don't really want anything anymore funny how the, the brain works like that so but I still give myself something so I'll either write it down during the week or if I see something on Instagram I'll save it and I'll be like, all right I'm gonna make that Saturday even if I'm not hungry for it per se I know it'll you know you want to not lie to yourself because I'm telling myself all week hey I'll give myself a little something so follow through with myself and then you know also reward myself for for a good week of work so I uh, I enjoy that man Believe me, there's also plenty of weeks where I, I get the cheap meal, pick it up, make it, whatever, and I'm just salivating over that thing until the, the last bite is gone. So it's a good mix, but helps helps break things up, gives you a little checkpoint. Maybe that's the word I was looking for earlier. Nice little checkpoint during the week. Make sure you, you were on it. So We don't listen to that bullshit, son. <laughs> That was a good place to stop it. I forgot to mention, uh, so I get asked with uh, like some of the meals you guys see me eating, where I get the muffins, the meals. Uh, I actually did have a muffin this morning. I didn't show it because I ate it a little later, but my girlfriend and I split a muffin. Um, <clears throat> that is almost always linked below. It's a company I've used for a couple of years now on and off. And uh, recently this year I partnered with them. Uh, so I have a code with them. You save a little bit if you want to order meals, muffins. I think they got other like protein snacks and stuff. Uh, but it's all on the website. And then code Merck in the checkout will save you, I believe, 10 or 15%. I should know my percentages, so I apologize. Um, but uh, it'll, it'll save you a bit in there and then help support the channel as well. And, uh, I mean, really, you don't need like the, it's all. It's all nice. I'll keep it real with you guys. Like, 
all that all that stuff is nice for the majority of my training career I didn't I could not afford that you know I'm spending between two and three hundred dollars a week now you know if I was now some of that's paid for by the company because uh, I work with them but you know two three hundred dollars a week and that's again that's for uh, me and my girlfriend so you know maybe cut it in half to just under 200 if it's just me eating uh, a week of, of meal prep and snacks and stuff um, but for the majority of my time training there's no shot I would have been paying for that I would have much preferred and would have had to and did uh, just go to the grocery store get the basics uh, prep them ahead of time and you know you sacrifice a little bit it does take some time like you, you are, you are going to sacrifice time to prep the meals ahead of time whether it's at the beginning of the day you know every day every couple days or every week i would usually prep food like a good amount of food every maybe two days because i liked cooking as much fresh as i could uh you know kind of in between work and been lucky to work from home so i had the flexibility to do so um but really like if you're not in a financial position to to pay for a meal prep service because it is gonna be a little more expensive. Man, you don't need it, you're not missing out on it. Everything still stays the same. It's still about it's still about tracking your macros, it's still about eating, you know, high protein, watching your carbohydrate intake depending on your goal. Uh, you know, making sure the fats you're getting are healthy fats, you're not over consuming uh, fats and, and calories and uh, you know that's that's really the, the the method doesn't change it just when you get to the point where you're like okay I could pay a little bit more for the convenience of having all these meals portioned out and and cooked ahead of time and I just gotta pop it in my microwave or air fryer or whatever I mean that's you know that's awesome you're 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 living and I'm very uh, grateful to have gotten to this point now but you don't need it to be successful to hit your goals they're just uh i think for me they're a company that's really doing it the right way um and they got good flavor because a lot of those companies it's just it's bland and you know i've tried it in preps and i've tried a few other companies and i just don't really enjoy it so i found these guys and i'm like all right for the people who like to to order their food this is it you know comes fresh tastes great good macros like that's that's the way to do it so uh that's kind of the everything on on meal prep and how i do it or at least what you guys see in the in the mornings um so if you're on the fence i encourage you to try it if it's not if it's not in the cards don't even worry about it because it, it really doesn't matter um what else yeah that's really it i'm at the gym now so let's get it
guys. Enjoy your weekend. Be safe. I'll see you Monday for uh, for chess day. You already know we're back at it. And uh, like I like I was saying earlier, I'll be in the in the comments this weekend. So whatever questions you have, whatever you're curious about, maybe uh, things to include next week in the vlog. Uh, just let me know. And uh, or if you just want to chat it up, chat it up down there. So I appreciate you guys for watching another one. I'll catch you next week. It was a damn good week of training. What do I know? I'm just murdered.